Ladies and gentlemen, it is my great pleasure to let you meet the man who has, is at the head of a seat of a very difficult job. While California, Los Angeles, and the whole US starts really thinking about that path forward, how do we rebuild this country, this state, this city, this school district? How do we engage young people so that they can bring solutions to us? I am so proud as a UC grad and as a taxpayer in California and as the person who represents you on the Board of Education that Mark Udoff is our president because he cares about you and he knows that his success is about including you. So please help me welcome our great president of the UC system, Mr. Mark Udoff. Thank you. Thank you. And I'm wearing my new outfit. You see that? And thank you, Monica. I hate to follow you. You're a terrific speecher. So good morning, Rough Riders. You're doing all right today? And uh, I want to thank Superintendent D.C. for joining us today, and especially Principal uh, Tovar and to all the principals for your hospitality. I heard that George Lopez was here a few weeks ago. Is that true? And he's a very funny man, I'm told. Now, the truth is, I'm not George Lopez. He's a lot funnier. And I'll leave the jokes to him. But I am really excited to be here today. Great things, important things, are happening here at Boyle Heights. And I wanted to see them for myself. And I've gotten a grand welcome here, including a mariachi band. And uh, I spent a lot of time in Texas, and I just say, Boy, it is terrific, and I want to th thank the students who uh, played that little serenade, and I want to thank you all for being here today. I'm talking about the great things that are happening at this high school in the classroom. You know, Theodore Roosevelt once said, believe you can and you're halfway there. Well, Rough Riders, you really can believe, and yes, you can. Your graduation rate is going up every year, and every fall, more and more Roosevelt graduates enroll in universities, colleges, and community colleges across California. I want you to give yourself a big hand. You are doing great. In fact, for each of the last four years, more than 60 of you have been accepted to UC campuses. There are now Rough Riders at every UC campus. And while we're giving it up for the students who've graduated here, let's give it up for the principals and for your teachers and your counselors and your parents and your families, all the people who are standing right behind you. You see, you are part of a larger story. It's the story of the California dream. I did a little research and I learned that Roosevelt has served as the students of Boyle Heights since 1923. This neighborhood has always been a gateway for newcomers to this country. Andrew Boyle was an immigrant himself. He came here from Ireland. Ever since then, immigrants from all over the world have come to Boyle Heights and for the last 88 years, they have sent their children to Roosevelt which gave them the education they needed to build their dreams, big dreams, very big dreams. Maybe your dream is to make movies, or maybe your dream is to be a member of Congress, or maybe to be the chair of the uh, school board. Maybe your dream is to be a judge or to write best-selling books or to own an NBA basketball team. That would be fun. Graduates of Roosevelt have achieved all those dreams and more and those graduates all come from immigrant families. And that's the larger story here. The home countries of immigrants may have changed over the years, but the dreams have not changed over those 88 years. And the teaching, the learning, the hard work, what goes on at Rose in Roosevelt classrooms every day is an important step forward on the pathway to those dreams. What you're doing here is preparing for college, which is another way of saying what you're doing is preparing for life. You are preparing for life here. And you're holding your end of the bargain up 
by being a part of the California dream. The promise has been that in California, there would be a spot in college for anyone willing to work to get there. Whether it be a community college, a Cal State campus, or one of the 10 campuses of the University of California. Now at the University of California, our end of the bargain is to make sure we keep the doors of opportunity wide open. And we are doing all that we can to keep those doors open. In fact, starting this year, the path to a UC degree is more simple than ever before. You need to finish the 15 UC required courses. I know it's tough, but you need to do it. And your teachers and your counselors, they can help you, and they can help you plan. You may need to maintain your GPA at at least a 3.0. You need to take the SAT or the ACT. But if you can do these things, if you can work hard, and you rank in the top 9% of your class here at Roosevelt, then you are on the wet path to a degree from the University of California. Now you may be thinking, this is all great, but my family can't afford it. UC is out of reach for me. I'm here to tell you that is just not so. The University of California is within your reach. Don't overestimate the cost, and we have a lot of ways to help you. We have a program called the Blue and Gold Program, which our Board of Regents approved. And we have a regent here, Bonnie Reese, who was one of the leaders in that. It's called the Blue and Gold Opportunity Plan. If your family income is under $80,000 a year and you qualify for financial aid, then the Blue and Gold Program says you will pay nothing, nothing in tuition to attend the University of California. You will pay nothing for all four years. And I have to be truthful, even if it took you five, you'll still pay nothing. Not one dollar. You'll need living expenses, but there are additional scholarship funds available for that. You see, our campuses draw talented young people from all walks of life, all walks of life. They are the place to be for students who are not afraid to work hard and to dream big. And I want to give you some numbers. 40% of our freshman class are the first in their families to go to a four-year university, 40%. So I understand, maybe your mom or dad did not go to a university, but you can still do it and you can still succeed. More than half of our students come from homes where English is a second language, if it's spoken at all. Again, more than half. So if Spanish is, or some other language is spoken in your home, maybe it's the prevailing language in the home, that is not disqualifying. We have lots of students like you, and we have lots of successful students just like that. And four out of 10 of our students come from low-income families. They're not all rich. They're not even all deeply into the middle class. We 40% of our students have incomes of under $45,000. So my point is a simple one, and I want you to remember it even when you've forgotten the rest of this boring speech. No matter what your race is, no matter what your ethnicity is, no matter what your background, no matter what your immigration status, no matter what your income is, UC will welcome you if you work hard and you make the grade. So don't forget that a UC education will help you achieve what you set your mind to. And think about it, you have dreams. You might have a dream that you will be the, the physician who cures Alzheimer's disease. Or you may be the author who writes the next great American novel. Maybe you could design the next space shuttle. Or maybe you want to travel the world as a journalist. Maybe you even want to be mayor of Los Angeles. I'm not sure why, but you might want to be mayor of Los Angeles. And it all starts here. It all starts at Roosevelt. It starts at that access to the University of California. So I want you to consider all of our 10 campuses. In fact, we have three world-class universities within 60 miles of here, UCLA, UC Irvine, and UC Riverside. And if you don't want to live that close to your parents, which I don't agree with, but I do understand, we have campuses that are several hundred miles away. You could have some real distance between you and your parents and receive a first-class education at San Diego or at Davis or one of our other fine institutions. So the message today is there's a lot on your shoulders, and you have to understand that. But there's a lot on the shoulders of the adults of the state as well. And what I am saying is if you do your share, we will do our share to make sure that you can attend 
the University of California and not have financial obstacles thrown in their way. Your job is to take the tough classes. Your job is to work on the grades. Your job is to take the admissions test. And your job is to participate in community service or other activities that tell us that you're a leader, that you're a caring individual, that you're going to give back to your communities when you graduate from the University of California. Your job is to be the best person, that's, our, that's number one, and then the net best student that you can be. Your job is to focus, 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 and do everything in your power to make yourselves outstanding applicants to the University of California. The expectations are high and the competition is tough, but your principals, your teachers, your counselors are here to guide you, and if need be, they're here to hold your feet to the fire. And UC is on the ground here, too, to help you. Look at the banners, starting with UCLA and the UCLA Community Partner banner in the back, and all the banners from the other campuses that are here. This represents proof that the University of California cares about you. We want you to succeed. We want to be committed to your success. And you'll see booths and representatives from most of the campuses outside in the courtyard when you exit the auditorium. And here's another message which I think is important to you. Remember, you are rich. You are rich. You are rich in what matters. You are rich in self-respect. You are rich in dignity. You are rich in community pride. You are rich in having a strong work ethic and in having families and mentors who believe in you and want the best for your future. Let me close with one more piece of Teddy Roosevelt's advice. Keep your eyes on the stars and keep your feet on the ground. Finally, speaking for myself and from my heart, let me say this. I could not be more confident that you will rise to the moment, rise to the occasion, and you will make us all very, very proud. Thank you.